the last part and the last objective is to study the irrigation schedule <laughs> what is irrigation scheduling is see it is a process uh, used by irrigation system manager to determine the correct frequency and duration of watering so the goal in irrigation scheduling is to apply enough water to fully wet plant root zone by minimizing over watering and then allows the soil to dry out in between the watering period to allow air to enter the soil and encourage root development but not so much that the plant is stretched beyond the limit so the main function of the irrigation scheduling is to decide and to determine the correct frequency that is the watering uh, the period of a watering correct period of a watering and the duration of the watering to the crop the purpose of the irrigation scheduling is uh, mentioning here that is to wet the root zone properly uh, without giving the over irrigation water then the uh, plant the root and the soil may allow to dry and then Uh, for the uh, entering the air uh, prop, so that the plant root get uh, uh, properly developed and uh, likewise the system will uh, will go on and the nourishment of the plant will take place so during the scheduling some factors may take taken into consideration that is the uh, precipitation rate of the irrigation equipment how quickly the water is applied that may be taken into consideration distribution uniformity of a irrigation system how uniformly of water is applied on the ground so that the production of the uh, crop will be taken successfully soil infiltration the type of a soil which is available on the land so how quickly the water is absorbed into the soil so type of the soil may also be taken into consideration then slope topography of land that that had been irrigated as this affects how quickly runoff occurs see uh, the steep slopes uh, on the steep slope runoff will is high and on the flat slope on the flat surfaces the runoff is low so we can uh, control the water we can control the supply of water properly then soil available water capacity then effective depth of a plant to be water which affect how much water can be stored in the soil and more water available to the plant the current watering requirement of plant by calculating the evapotranspiration then amount of time in which water or labor may be available for irrigation amount of allowable stress which may be placed on the plant and timing to take advantage of the projected rainfall timing to take advantage of a favorable using rate etc so the irrigation before uh, succeeding and before uh, the taking the production of a crop we need to uh, study or we should study this all the points of uh, from the uh, starting from the type of irrigation up to the irrigation scheduling itself after that we can adapt or we can choose the best method best technique for the given type of a crop so that the proper amount of a water is successfully supplied to the crop and the production of the crop may increase